So hello everybody, this is Fred Bosolo from Incredible.com and in today's video we're going to do incremental refresh in Power BI Desktop that also works in the cloud. Okay, so here's the thing. First of all, what is incremental refresh? Incremental refresh will allow you to refresh only newly added data. Okay, normally when you pre press refresh on the Power BI, it will load everything and if you have big tables, big mess. So we don't want that. We just want to load newly added data. And how do we do that? You might think, okay, let's go first to the Power BI file. We have orders 2019, orders 2017 and 18. So we have three order tables. You can have just one historical table and then one newly added date table as you like. I have in this case three order tables. And you might say, Ruth, how difficult can it be? I go in here. I and click including report refresh. I merge the three tables in Power Query, unload them, and I'm good to go. Not quite. Not quite. Here's the thing, and I was actually very surprised about this, because if you do it like that, Power Query will refresh everything. So when you do joins, Power Query will refresh the underlying tables too, even when you tell them not to. And I don't know if that's made that way so you cannot fake incremental refresh. I don't know, but it's very annoying. If I say, don't refresh, don't refresh, don't refresh. Why would you? Okay, round on the side. How do we do it? This is what we did. So we need to go to the table. We need to exclude the in including report refresh either way, but we're not going to do the join in Power Query. So we are going to do close and apply. And we're going to load everything. I have it here. Orders 2019, 18 and 17. And what you need to do now is to go to table tools in the new ribbon. And then you go to new table. We're going to create a new table. And this is going to be called orders. And you're going to use Shift Enter Union. Okay, we're going to use the function union. And what you do is you put orders 2017. I I th I think that union only allows for two tables before. It seems that it allows for three tables. Now maybe I've done it all the way. I just had in my mind that it was only two tables, but it is actually joining all three. This is it. And now once you have that, you go and you hide, hide, because now you have one, one table, right? You don't want to show your users all three tables. So we hide them and look at this. When I click refresh, Only orders 2019 is refreshing. The other two are not refreshing, which is exactly what we want. How cool is that? So now you know how to do fake incremental refresh in Power BI. I wish we could do it in Power Query, but for now it's not possible. So anyhow, this solves the problem. Yes, you are loading data multiple times, but I've done it a few times and it works beautifully even with a lot of data. So give it a go and hope it works for you too. So this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you again on the next one. If you are on holidays, happy holidays, have Merry Christmas if you celebrate Christmas and for those of you that are working, enjoy the video. Bye.